hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's vlog. It's a little bit different than what I normally do. So this is actually going to be a day-long writing vlog. It is pretty late in the day, I was hoping to start this earlier, but... As all good things, I procrastinate them. So for those of you who don't know, I am actually writing a book. Initially, it started off as a school project that I kind of wanted to be finished. Um, but since uh, taking a sabbatical from school, I've decided to continue working on this project. And even though it's probably not actually gonna help me at all in school anymore, I still really want to finish it. So I am writing a book that is featuring Irish mythology. I have uh, Irish heritage and I've been really interested and passionate about learning about Irish mythology and culture um, and language and just so many different elements of it. And so I decided that I wanted to write a book, like a fantasy YA novel featuring Irish mythology because <laughs> there just isn't too much of it out there. So what I do when I write. Sometimes I will go to the Irish Cultural Center that's here in the city that I live in, um, but the library is only open on Thursdays uh, in the evenings, so I don't always get to go. Um, and there aren't a lot of seating areas in the Cultural Center, so like sometimes there just isn't anywhere for me to, for me to sit and write. So I will be writing at home today. Um, and yeah, I've put in a lot of research for this book, but I am still always continuing to gather more research. So I almost always like to start my day off with some sort of reading just to kind of get me in the mood and kind of get my creative juices flowing again. I, I will feature these in a haul at some point, but I'm going to show them here. I did also reach recently purchased these, uh, Irish Fairy Tales and Celtic Myths and Tales. Uh, they do have some overlapping legends and so I'm really interested to hear them. Um, and also they're just beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> so I will be reading a tale from one of these and then I've got a couple scenes in mind that I want to write today and then I want to just kind of free write. Normally when I write I haven't yet built a good habit of consistently writing. I'm still working on that. Normally I only write when I feel inspired, but just because of how like busy life has gotten, I don't create the time and space to be inspired. So I'm hoping to change that, especially over the summer. Everything is just on my computer. Personally, I am a fan of physically writing out the letters, but just for mass writing like this and for editing and things like that, I am writing it on my computer. I kind of wish there were times that I wish I could write things out physically and then transfer it to the computer, but I also know I don't have the patience for that. So for this one, I'm writing it straight into the computer. However, if I actually finish this, <laughs> I might change up my strategy just depending on how I'm feeling. Um, I've got it all in one document. I've got multiple uh, beginnings. I think I've got three ideas for the beginning and I kind of can't decide so that's something that I'm gonna go back with my first round of editing of which beginning I like more. I am like 20 pages in. Like this I'm very much at the beginning of this project. I'm only like 20 pages written. Um, I've just been devoting so much time to research and brainstorming and plotting and characters. Um, so yeah today I am going to focus on actually writing and I'm very excited so I'm gonna grab some drinks and snacks to set up first buddy <laughs> um so that once I sit down and if I get in the zone I don't have to leave
it's been a couple hours. Wow, it really has been two hours. I got my second cup of tea steaming here, ready to drink in probably like half an hour. Uh, no. So I've got my second cup of tea. I've made a lot more progress in terms of planning. Um, I have, I've had so many ideas and different possibilities for this manuscript and I finally have settled on a plan and an outline. And I'm kind of at the point in the book where like the journey begins and so I'm a little, I feel, even though I feel creative, I feel like nothing creative is actually being put on the page which is kind of annoying but I just need to kind of write my way through this and I think, you know, it's a first draft. It's gonna be absolutely terrible and that is okay. Um, I just need to get it written, right? I think what I'm struggling with is I think there needs to be another opposing force to add more challenge to the characters because we have our good and we have our evil, but we don't have as active as an evil force as there should be. So that's something I'm kind of struggling with. It's an, I'm fine with adding another element to the story, but I just gotta figure it out, the logistics in the story so that it works. Which theoretically, I could just start a bad, another force and deal with it later, but we'll see. So yeah, it's been a couple hours. I've literally gone from, I've literally written a page, but I actually have a clear direction to go. Like I very much enjoy planning. I'm, I'm not necessarily one of those people that can just sit down and write. Like I need to have a plan. I need to know where my characters are going and what they're doing. So yeah, there's, there's my, there's my sad update. Um, I also changed into this cozy because it is cold. I thought it was summer. The weather was getting warmer. It's even sunny outside and yet it's still cold. So like, whatever. But yeah, anyway, I should get back to writing. I also debated on going to a coffee shop to try and minimize distractions, but a lot of the coffee shops close in like an hour or two. Or yeah, they close in like an hour, so <laughs> there isn't really a good place for me to go and chill, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, get it lost. Anywhere you said, anywhere you said, anywhere. Okay, so it's actually the next day, and I'm not continuing this vlog, this is the end of it. So, it was a very short vlog, and I knew it was going to be, I just really wanted to set some time aside to concentrate on writing, and that's exactly what I did. I wrote about five pages of the manuscript, which isn't a lot, but I'm still pretty happy with it, because I did do so much more planning. I have an actually detailed outline for once, and I have developed so many more things and I feel a lot more ready to continue writing so I'm pretty happy with how yesterday turned out. After a few hours I did get pretty distracted and just needed a break which then turned into being done for the day but honestly if I can just set aside an hour or two 
more often to do this. I, that would be really, really helpful, especially now that I actually have this outline and I know where I'm going with it. So yeah, it's a short vlog and not much happened, it seems like, but I feel good about it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know if I should do more writing focus videos. I can do longer ones where I make more progress and talk more about what I'm writing. Um, I don't know if it's super interesting, which is another reason why this video is super short and I don't talk a lot about my project because even though I'm interested, I don't know if uh, that's something, a style of content you want to see on this channel or if you just want me to stick to reading and reviewing books, I'd be happy doing either. Just let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I do have bookish social media where I talk about books that I read and review, so you can go and follow me on those. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading!